Hello, I'm Rebecca Barrett and I work for the North Pennines Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty Partnership. We're here today to talk about the fantastic upland hay meadows that we have here in the North Pennines, but most importantly, places like this behind me. Upland hay meadows are an incredibly rare habitat. There are thought to be only 900 hectares remaining in the whole of the United Kingdom. Here in the North Pennines, we have about 350 hectares of that, which is 40%, a huge proportion of a tiny resource. Over the last eight years or so, we've been running projects to conserve and enhance upland hay meadows in the North Pennines. This has involved detailed botanical surveys. And one of the worrying things that we have found is that the most flower rich areas are now largely restricted to places like this, steep banks in hay meadows, edges of hay meadows, roadside verges and river banks. Across the landscape of the North Pennines, these small places add up to a vital network of nectar rich places which are not only important for the rare wild flowers, but also for all the creatures that depend upon those plants. Rare invertebrates like the moss carder bee, for example, are known to be dependent on these places for their future survival. The Nectarworks project focuses on wildflower grassland, nectar-rich gardens, bumblebees, and why these are important to us all. One of the most important things we'll be doing through the Nectarworks project is to harvest seed from places like this and spread it on nearby meadows so that in the long term we can start to see the return of these wonderful flowers across our landscape. Hello, I'm Dr Ruth Starkeddle and I'm the Nectarworks Project Officer. I work for the North Pennines Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty Partnership. My main job is to go out and do botanical surveys of the most wildflower rich areas found in the North Pennines. I'm specifically looking for some plants that used to be found in upland hay meadows but are now largely restricted to, the, to these steep bankside areas. I call these plants the big five. They are globe flower, great bonnet, melancholy thistle, wood cranesville and ladies mantle. And I'm very lucky to be standing on a bank that has all five of these in flower. And this is one of the big five. This is globe flower because it has a lovely globe shaped head. It is bright yellow. It is a member of the buttercup family. Here in Upper Teesdale, we find glow flowers on steep banks and during the summer, the glow flowers cover the steep banks, looking bright yellow and really gorgeous. And this is Wood Cranesbill. It has big purple flowers. It is a typical upland hay meadow species. So if you do find it in a meadow, you know you're in a very special place. It is generally restricted to these steep bankside areas, like the one I'm standing on here. That is a white-tailed bumblebee, a queen bee, pollinating the wood cranes bill. And this is lady's mantle. This is another iconic species of the North Pennines. And this is melancholy thistle. It grows all the way up to here it has a bright purple flower head. It's looking lovely at the moment, but its name is melancholy thistle because when it starts to set seed, the flower head starts drooping and it looks a little bit sad. We often find it flowering on roadside verges in the North Pennines or on steep banks like these. And this is another of the big five. This is grape bonnet. This is quite a young plant at the moment. So when it grows up a bit, these flowers will become even redder. And you can make burnet wine out of it, although I've never tried it. And here's another meadow plant. This is pig nut. And this is meadow sweet. 
Oh, and here's another nice plant. This is water avens. And here's an indicator of slightly damp habitats. This is marsh hawksbeard. Oh, how lovely. We have common spotted orchid here. Through our Nectarworks project, we will be surveying these places in great detail so we can find out exactly which plants are here, but also talk to the farmers who manage these places to make sure they're being managed in the most appropriate way, because without the farmers and their management, these places will certainly disappear forever. <laughs>